stuff. YouTubers, this is my 36 volt electric go kart, 500 watt. Very simple design, hasn't cost me much to build so far. I'll go over a few of the points and a few of the things I had troubles with and figured out and fixed. My first problem was my chain was too long. I couldn't find a chain link to fit the chain that I have and that came with the motor. Um, so I ended up, I originally wanted to mount it here obviously um, and couldn't due to chain length. So I just did a little bit of welding and welded on another bar and put the motor on that and that does the job. Got a skateboard wheel for a tensioner that a mate gave me a good idea for. So, does the job. For the rear axle I chose a dead axle. Um, just chose to drive one wheel just because it was easier to do that way. Otherwise I'd have to either make a, a axle or I would have to run two motors. Uh, as I only have one motor I just chose to drive one wheel. Um, it's actually just a 50cc quad bike front end welded on, it's solid, the uh, shock absorbers are there for aesthetics, they don't do anything, <laughs> it just looks cool. Um, brakes, I'm still yet to hook up but you know, they work. So, um, And then the way to drive the other wheel, so I just took the sprocket like that one it was on this wheel, took it off, chucked the, uh, the brake disc, sorry not the sprocket and then uh, attached this sprocket to the uh, wheel and made it my drive wheel and works a treat. Um, yeah, just had to weld up the steering thingy so it was solid. Barely moves, a little bit of play, but the chain doesn't come off, so it's the main thing. As you can see, it currently doesn't have a seat. Um, I'm, I have a seat, it's just over there waving in the wind <laughs> with the towels. Um, I plan to put it just here, obviously where the seat goes, but I'm gonna build a battery pack a box. Um, the seat's obviously gonna have to sit just above the motor, so it makes it ideal. I can put the batteries, keep the center weight um, just there. Um, my throttling, now it took me a little while. I've got the uh, my speed control, uh, off a mate, um, which happened to be off a mobility scooter. Um, that obviously doesn't work too well because you've got to take one hand off the wheel and turn, and yeah, just haven't got that control. You know, obviously, um, I could have put two springs on it and done it that way, but opted for another way. Um, I've got a tent peg, <laughs> bent that, drilled a hole so I could put a little pin in there to stop it coming off um, bent it into shape this is just off a spare brake assembly I had laying around from the other wheel it works a treat obviously if you follow that's my problem that I'm having at the moment obviously if you follow the line back to here works beautifully I'll plug the batteries in in a moment and uh, give you a look but that's how I got around that. Just a spring, a bolt, sliding pentiometer. And at the moment it's just zip tied. I've got a little couple of little channels I've got made up that I'm going to uh, put over that. Um, I've soldered the wire on. All my wiring's a little bit dodgy. I've still yet to put the whole, pull the whole thing apart and going to repaint it for the kids. Um, this, this knob still works. Uh, I have a two year old boy that rides it. Um, and I just turn this, set it to a certain voltage and off he goes and he can't go any faster. Um, he knows how to turn it down, he knows not to turn it up. Um, behind here, it's a bit of a mess. A bit of dodgy wiring, I know. Fixing all that in the stages of. Uh, you can see the speed controller attached to the panel just here. The original steering spindles I had were um, made for, oh, I'm not sure what size, but basically these rims didn't fit. Um, so I had a mate take the originals um, and make me up a new one. Uh, Brent, thanks mate, does a bit of 
helped me out there. I did try myself. Um, here's my go at welding. I've barely welded before, apart from the motor mount and this. I haven't <laughs> done that any at all before. Um, I'm pretty happy with the welds. I just wasn't confident in the uh, in the event of uh, off-roading, <laughs> as surely will happen with the kids. Um, so yeah, I got him to, and obviously I didn't drill my my holes right. It's just it was nasty. At the moment, I'm running two 18 volt Bosch 1.5 amp batteries. The kids get about half an hour out of it. Um, so yeah, just one moment. They get about half an hour out of the batteries when they're just cruising around, uh, just with the pentameter, the turny twisty knob. Um, don't know how they'll go with the whole throttle, but this is the throttle at work. So, yeah, the th sliding throttle, pentameter, I'm not sure if that's Didn't realise I was recording before, sorry guys. Um, that's my dodgy seat at the moment. Um, to protect the slider meter, I do have a spacer and a nut just here. It sits higher than the shaft, so no chance I can lock myself on full throttle and lose control. Uh, let's go for a quick ride. Taking the handlebars off a kid's scooter and uh, put them on, and well, here we go. I'll run up and jump on and go for a quick cruise past. My youngest, just one moment please. So my youngest Caleb has come out to see what all the noise was. Well not noise. Did you play on the trampoline? Yeah. Do you like your go-kart? Mm. Yeah. So overall it does about 20 k's apparently by the maths. But um on a going down a hill it goes quite quick. <laughs> Picks up speed quite quick. Um but yeah, other than that, if you have any questions, chuck them in the comments section below. Thanks, guys.